welcome to Atlanta Mix 108. Up next is Author Talk with your host, ML Roostrack. Welcome Atlanta. This is Author Talk with your host, ML Roostrack. That's M L dot R U S C S A K. And you can find out more about me and my work personal works on my personal website spelled the same way. Up uh, with Nabella Kiane, all the way from Toronto, Canada today. How are you doing today? Good, really good. Thank you so much for having me here today. I really appreciate it. Now, you're a children's book author, but you also do some other things that led you to writing this book that's called I Like Fruits. Do you want to touch base on before you wrote what you did? Yeah, before I wrote this book, uh, I was an um, airplane pilot, and um, I, I was in aviation. I used to fly and all that. Then I got married and had kids. And during that journey, I fractured my tailbone during one of my childhood. And after that, my whole life turned upside down, <laughs> kind of, you can say that. Then uh, I started eating healthy. Like, I changed my eating habits first. And then I had back pain, which I could not bear. And eventually, after changing my eating habits, getting on to smoothies and stuff and feeding my kids the same thing that I was having, uh, the fruits and vegetable smoothie, I realized the point came when my kids would not uh, leave the junk food. And they would say, okay, we want this smoothie, we want that smoothie. And that kind of changed my perspective about it. Then I also did health coaching and um, from Integra- Institute of Integrative Nutrition, New York. And... Um, That motivated me to write a book about healthy eating because I I was seeing my children practically changing their habits, even the little ones. And and then I started looking out for the book where I can teach them the names of fruits, like alphabetical order. But basically, I could not find a single book in the market that was fruits in alphabetical order that that has real children in it eating real fruits. So that was the thing that I, uh, struck me, and I was like, oh, my goodness, how come nobody came up with this idea before? So um, as I wanted to teach my children, so I wrote a book with real children eating real fruits instead of monkey eating banana. So the kids, they think when you see, even in Dora show, right, when the kids see uh, banana um that uh, who's the name of the character is just a yeah. What's this? Dora, not a real yeah, banana. They, a yellow thing. Where in your book you have pictures of real fruit, real bananas, real kids, and I can relate to it. Right. Are you still there with me? Oh, no, I think I lost my guest today. Are you there? Can I call you back then? 
Yeah, I'll let you. Um, yeah, hang up and call me right back. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Well, we are waiting for our technical difficulties to be fixed. Why don't I tell you a little bit about, about myself as a host and also how you can be a guest on the show for yourself providing you made special criteria. One, you're an author, a writer, a book publisher, or have other works related to the publishing world. You can contact me directly at O-F-L-I-T-E-A-N-D-D-A-R-K-E at yahoo.com and submit a formal request and I'll gladly convey to you what we need to do to get you on the show Atlanta Mix 108 on Author Talk with myself, Emma Roostrack. Besides that, Yes, I am an author myself. You may know me for my fantasy novels of light and dark, of which right now they are only in ebook. The paperback edition should be coming out here momentarily. Find out more about myself on my website, mlroostrack.com. That's M L R U S C S A K dot com and find out more about myself and my book series of light and dark on there and my upcoming series of mother sin which is a murder mystery series as well as my cookbooks all of which are getting ready to come out in short order besides that it looks like i'm still waiting for novella to come back as I said, we're having a little bit of t- technical difficulties today, so I'm going to take this opportunity as I can while we wait for her to come back. Um, you can find out more about me, too, through my publisher, Wild Dreams Publishing, as well as several other interesting authors that will be showing up periodically through Atlanta Mix 108 to do shows with me as well. Get her right back on the air. Thank you. Okay, you there now? Yeah, I can hear you. uh, Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Now, like I was saying, with Dora... You have a yellow thing, a yellow crescent. But with your book, you have real fruit, real kids, and they're really enjoying eating those fruits, eating the vegetables, mm-hmm. eating what you're showing that is in there. Yeah. And they actually really love it. Yeah. Kids will eat what you give them if you give it to them early on. I found this even with my own daughter. Mm-hmm. Things that she ate at an early age, she still enjoys today. Mm-hmm. Yep. And she's yep. really not big on the junk food and the cakes and the cookies, which I couldn't be happier with with all the children's obesity that we face today. Mm-hmm. That's true. That's true. And the sugar is main culprit. And I also put in my book where it says for D, like I love to eat dates. I love to eat dates. So I wanted to put dates into my books because everything like uh, for sugar alternative in smoothies, I just put dates. I never put anything else. Just to make it sweet, I put dates. And which is a very healthy alternative for little children, right? Oh, yeah. You don't want to give a child sugar. You want to do something that's healthy for them. Feed their body. Mm-hmm. You want to feed their mind. And you give them sugar mm-hmm. and things like this. What are you really doing for your child versus giving mm-hmm. them natural alternatives and giving them a healthy lifestyle 
to start with. That's true, yeah. And if you give it in the morning, like if you make it a smoothie in the morning with fruits and vegetables, and then they go to school after that, they drink that, and then they get in their snack break, they eat their breakfast. So that way you are, otherwise if you pack their lunch and you send carrots and whatever, broccoli, fruits, whatever, when they come back home in the evening, you see everything is almost there because they don't have enough time, like 10 or 15 minutes, to chew even those carrots, right? And they bring it back, Mom, I cannot eat that much in uh, that much time, right? So I came up with this idea that if they go to school in the morning and they somehow if they can drink this smoothie with dates and fruits and vegetables, that will at least cover up their whole day. Then they can have their snack and their lunch and their breakfast, you know, everything after that. And and it I started in the beginning, it was kind of a little difficult because children couldn't understand the idea of smoothie right in the morning. Yeah, it, it takes but, a while for kids to get the yeah. understanding. Yeah but, yeah, but eventually they did cooperate it, thanks to them, basically. So they, it did uh, work out well. What I did was, First, I tried to start it when they come down on the dining table. I tried to give them, but in the beginning, they were they were not happy with that. So then, I what I did was after when they brush their teeth, I would tell them to drink one glass of water at least. So if I tell them to drink one, at least they would try to drink half of it. So that way, it will activate their digestive system. By the time they reach down on the dining table <laughs> before school, they're ready to get that and take the smoothie. So that's how I did it with my children. So that I'm sharing this tip so it might help many moms out there who have little children and who are struggling for them to eat some vegetable or some fruit and the kids all they want is a candy. <laughs> my secret is I don't keep the candy and the sweets in my house. Then she doesn't have any choice but to eat healthy. <laughs> but mm, that's good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's me, but That's she's getting older now, and she can go to the store on her own. And she doesn't always make healthy choices, but more often than not, because that's how she is raised, she does make those healthy choices. So I couldn't be prouder as a mom raising a healthy child. That's really good. Yeah, that's really good. I actually want every child to read this book that I wrote. And slowly and gradually, especially when they're in their three, four, five-year-old, six-year-old even, if they keep on reading this book, and the customer who bought this from me a year ago, she bought this as a gift for somebody. And the mom, uh, she told her after a year, she made a cake and she sent a picture to me to put it on my Facebook page for this I Love Yummy Fruits book so that uh, people can relate to it that uh, it will work it does work because uh, there's one cake at the end of the book that I made with the watermelon and apples and peaches and all that and cherries uh, with kiwi around so that child he loved that cake so much he's Michael right and he, he told his mom that yeah, can you make that cake for my birthday so they made that cake a huge cake in the park and it was a um, hot day, and all the parents, everybody loved the idea, and then that's how the mom sent me a message, and also she was sending me a message that you should start teaching parents how to get their kids to eat healthy this way. So I said I will do that in future. Mm-hmm. That's great. Now, you mentioned Facebook. Can your readers get a hold of you there, and how would they do that? Yeah, they can. Uh, I love yummy fruits as the page, my Facebook page. So if they search on Facebook, it's I love yummy fruits. Okay. By Nabila Kiani. My name is Nabila N A B I L A, and the last name is K I Y A N I Kiani. Nabila Kiani. I love yummy fruits. Uh, by Nabila Kiani, but it should just come up as I love yummy fruits with a little boy uh, video in there 
eating strawberries and the kids eat, eating apples and all that. And there's also reviews of the customers uh, who bought the book and they give me the reviews and their pictures as well in there. And they can find that on Amazon as well, correct? Yeah, they can find it on Amazon as well. I Love Yummy Fruits by Nabila Kiani. Okay. I will mm-hmm. make sure that they have all that information very soon so everything's typed out. If you cannot find it on the Atlanta Mix 108 website, I will make sure it's on my personal website, which is Melissa Lynn Lyons, or you can find me at ML Roostrack on Facebook as well, and you have all that information if you missed it through the interview today. So everyone mm-hmm. who has little ones, you need to pick this book up because it's instrumental in fighting childhood obesity and raising healthy, happy kids. And that's what every parent wants is a healthy, happy child. Yeah, that's true. The future. Children are our future. Yes, they are. Do you want to say anything else to our listeners tonight? Yeah, just uh, try to feed your children healthy food as much as possible. I know it's, uh, it becomes hectic and sometimes moms don't get uh, time and plus also over here in North America, our life is so fast. We get everything pre-packed and pre-made. So try to cook food every day at home and uh, try to give them fruits and vegetables smoothie first thing in the morning. That will at least uh, get something in, inside their body. And later in the afternoon, even if they see candies or cookies or junk food around or chips, uh, so they won't touch that. Or even if they eat one or two, it, it won't harm them that much because they had already had their smoothie, right? So that's my... And please, uh, you would love to see the change in your child if you read the, if they start reading this book every day. Like, not even every day, twice a week if they go through this book. At least uh, slowly and gradually they, you will see the change in them that how they start eating fruits and they start loving fruit and they go in the aisles and pick up those fruits that uh, are in the book and uh, you will you will feel that it's worth spending that money uh, basically i didn't write this book for money it was more for the children around the world that was my main purpose great that's all the time that we have unfortunately because we had technical issues early on but I'm mm-hmm. going to try to get back on for another 15 minutes later on this week to continue this discussion, if that's okay with you. Okay, no problem. Thank you very much. That's welcome. And I'll, set it, I'll email you tonight what times I have available, and we'll do a 15 minutes, just continue this and get it done up so we can get this okay. message out. Okay. Because I don't all want right. to cut Thank you. Your, your time short and my studio time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But if you if you uh, you can hear this as well with this information as well if you want, I have no problems. Okay, if that's what you want, I can do just the fifteen minutes, or I can do a whole half hour. So it's up to you, whichever, uh, whatever. Uh, today, how much was it today? Today was. Um, with the technical, yeah, but I can give you another 15 minutes to make it a full thing. Mm, but it's okay if you, if you uh, can't give it. That's fine. You can hear this one. And the main information I've already given them. So okay. That's I will do that then. And I appreciate okay. you coming on today, and I thank you. Thank you and so much for having me. I really appreciate it. And um, so just kindly send me the link so that I can post it as well. I will do that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Take care.